Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about Grow Grain Ribbon. I got three different kinds here. This one comes from um, Ribbons and Bows Oh My, and it's made in the United States. It's made by Offray. This one here comes from the Hair Bow Center. Um, this is the one that they market as their brand. Um, it's made in China. Um, they do also carry some um, Made in USA uh, ribbon, the Offray, and then they still have um, a little bit of the um, shift left, which they've quit making ribbon, so once they run out of that, you won't be able to get it anymore. Uh, this ribbon here is made in Taiwan. It comes from Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to tell you the differences in these. Okay, they're all 100% um, polyester, which is good because then you can, um, you know, use your lighter or your wood burner and um, seal the ends. Um, this Made in USA one, I actually like it the best, um, and you can get it several different places, but um, it's, you know, it's nice and thick it holds a good shape it doesn't have um, a shiny finish on it um, but it works really well it seals really well you know it's not it's not too flimsy but it's not too stiff um, and it's kind of it's a little cloth like it's not like real plasticky now the um, the ribbons that are made in China, from my experience, a lot of them are, um, they're more shiny and slick, and they're a little bit more stiffer. Um, now they work really well if you are wanting a shiny ribbon, or are, if you're like making something that needs a more stiff ribbon. Um, for the most part, just for regular bows, I don't like this kind the best, but I have made um, some things that need a little bit stiffer of a ribbon, and that works out nice for that. Okay, the one from Hobby Lobby, um, it's a little, it's not the, like, shiny, it's more cloth-like. Um, this one right here is, is pretty close to the off-ray. Um, it's a little bit more flimsy, but um, some of the ones they've had, what I've experienced from them, is that, um, you know, they are cloth-like, but they're kind of flimsy, and I have a harder time um, getting them to um, hold shape. Um, the good thing about it is, you know, you don't have to order it. You can go directly in the store and buy it. You know, it's pretty cost efficient when they're on sale for 50% off, which is usually about every other week. Um, they do have some really nice prints that are really pretty, but I just, I just don't like it for bows as much because it's flimsier and it doesn't hold um, the shape of the bow very well. But, um... The I've also like ordered a different kind f that's um, made in China that I've gotten uh, you know here and there online, and it's like super thin and super flimsy. So if you're ordering ribbon from China, I don't recommend that you order a lot until you know what you're getting. Maybe order just a little bit and see what the quality's like. Um, from one place, I ordered a great big amount and I got it in, and it was. It was terrible. I mean, it you could almost see through it, and it just, it's like, almost like the print, when you kind of scratched like this, it's almost like it wanted to come off. So, um, you know, there are some good ribbons that come from China, but some of them are not. But I tend to buy primarily this um, Made in USA. It, it's really good, and plus, you know, it supports jobs here in the country, but... Um, and you can't beat it for quality. I mean, for best quality ribbon, you know, the off-rays that's made in the United States is the way to go.